A Seattle morning for Chinese President Xi Jinping and First Lady Peng Liawan on their first U.S. state visit. Their smiles and waves greeted dozens of onlookers, among them American children presenting flowers. Washington State's Governor Jay Inslee and former U.S. Ambassador to China Gary Locke. We're very proud and honored that President Xi Jinping will be making this his first stop in the United States on his way to Washington, D.C. It's also following the tradition of three previous leaders of China, starting with Deng Xiaoping, uh, Jiang Zemin, and Hu Jintao. On the day of his arrival, President Xi Jinping used a rare interview with the Wall Street Journal to tackle many of the challenges between the U.S. and China. And Tuesday night, he had hundreds of U.S. business leaders waiting on his every word. U.S. business leaders are looking for reassurances on the direction of China's economic reforms. They also want to hear from President Xi about the future of Internet regulation and cybersecurity in China. China is a staunch defender of cybersecurity and also victim of hacking. We will not engage in commercial theft or encourage it. Cyber theft and hacking crimes must be punished in accordance with law and the national treaties. The international community should, on the basis of mutual respect and trust, work together to build a peaceful, safe, open, and cooperative internet space. China is willing to set up a high-level joint dialogue mechanism with the United States on fighting cyber crimes. While President Xi prepared his first policy speech of the trip, five U.S. governors and six Chinese governors met to discuss ways to improve energy efficiency and modernize their electrical grids. The focus on fighting climate change extends to a new agreement between China National Nuclear Corporation and Seattle's TerraPower. They signed a deal to produce a next-generation nuclear power plant they hope will be smaller, cheaper, and safer. It's a direct result of the agreement to reduce greenhouse gas emissions reached between China and the U.S. last November. Other deals signed Tuesday include an agreement to work on clean energy research between the University of Washington and Xinhua University and a technology-based venture arranged between Shenzhen and Seattle.